welcome back to Love and Justice. Today, and today we are in Kentucky Beach. Um, this video, we'll be on how to set up a tent. So, hmm. You're good. I already did one. Put this side out. Okay. Alright, let's uh, move this this way. This tent's really easy. We got a pole that goes diagonally that way, a pole that goes diagonally this way. Take it down, and then you throw the rain fly over top, and it's got pulled against front to back. It's not too bad. Maybe it used to be a grill. Hey, friend, you want to keep your shoes on. How many days you can sit on? It's going to be pretty long. Okay. Gabby, you're not dying. He hasn't left you. Are you talking? Yeah. Okay. Say to you. Stand right here. Bye. Hold this, just like this. Don't touch any buttons. Just like this, okay? Keep it just like that. Is it already done? Not yet. That is. Alright. Boy, boy, boy. Bummy. The hiker, uh. Don't jump on it. Is this where we're staying at? Right. Yeah. Mommy, is this where we're staying right. at? Focus on what you're doing. Alright. Uh, go ahead and push it through a little more. And then you're going to bend the pole a little bit. And there's a pin on that ring there at the corner. You need to put the end of the pole in that ring. It's kind of like your... Get it 
have the uh, faucet on the other side, not this side. On the other side. Is that one? facing the wrong way. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> well, you don't have to get the poles out. You just pick the whole thing up and rotate. Not even worried about it. Okay. These sticks are special. Which side the door go out? Uh, it's one out this side. I was going to have it go out the front, but I ain't worried about it. It might actually be better to go this way. You just wanted to share your snoringness with us. My snoring should be too good. You got them clipped on? Yep. All right. Wow, look at that. Okay, so the side with the Velcro, that goes down because it attaches to the pole. You see the Velcro right here? There's, there's Velcro at several points on this thing. See right there? Those attached to the pole. Kira, do you know what that is? What is it? Because this is a tarp. So, because these have little holes, so if it rains, you get rained on. But if, if it rains, you can put this over here so the rain won't get it. This is called a rain fly. Yes, the rain fly. All right. So, in addition to in addition to the Velcro side going down, see this spot right here? That's where the pole that goes over the top goes in. So one of these two sides, so we'll try your side first, needs to go to the back. So we'll just drag it up and over. <laughs> and then it extends down and it clips into the ring down at the bottom. Then we got to do the other side. Now, if it rains, we'll stay dry. So, uh, big corner right here. Hold the corner so that it's more over the pole. Oh, yeah, we may have to do the Velcro first. I'm not sure. I'm putting this pole together, and I'm going to feed it back to you. And that little black thing that I showed you on the rain fly, put it in there. I'm going to feed this pole through and put it in that little black thing I showed you on the rain fly. It'll be right in the middle. Well, I can't read. It'll come down. Oh, on here? Other side. She's coming at you. See it? Yeah. It's going to be hard. It's yeah, I got it. You got it? Yeah. All right. Now we can do up on the Velcro on the underside so that the stuff doesn't move. You think the stuff doesn't move? I'll get the top one.
you want to pop here? Yeah. Okay. I just can't read. All right. I'll get that one. Other than that, we just, uh, that pulls the rain fly out a little bit to let the tent breathe. So where we're at now, we need tent stakes. So grab the the ones with the orange top, and we need the hammer. Hammer. Child, look by your feet. Okay. Okay. I'll get a hammer. Do you know where the hammer is, Bubby? Does Mama and Grandpa have it? Let's see, where are you using it? Uh, he handed it to Mama and Grandpa. Kira, let him have it. Let him help you. Kira. Thank you, sir. All right, so we got to put one in each corner. So since that one's closest to the, uh, I don't know if there's poison out here. There might be. Um, we want to stake that one first. That way we can stretch the tent forward. So do you want to stake it or do you want me to? Okay. And then I'll do the other. Yeah, it just clips over the ring. I don't get this. You can either put it through the ring or you can put it uh, outside the ring so that it's, it clips over it. Before you do these, you want to pull the tent forward a little bit, make sure it's tight. So then you go ahead and put one in there. Okay. Okay. Do the other one. Okay, I'll tell you what. So the other points to tie it down. There's one in the front here, so you can leave a tent stake there. Okay. There. There. Thank you. All right, so kind of like we did with this one, we want to do this one kind of close to the tent so that it doesn't create a trip pattern. Oh, that one can only go to the point. So, no, that's fine. Go ahead and... Hammer down. Uh, don't pull it that far. I'll tell you what, when you do it, angle it in a little bit. That way, as it goes in, it pulls it down. So do it about. Not quite there, but right there. And it doesn't have to be a super steep angle. Good. <laughs> Good enough. That'll work. Oh, we missed the point, but that's okay. Let me go ahead and put the one in this corner. Put it through the ring and hammer it Make sure when you do the hammer, uh, make sure you have adult supervision. I'll get a hammer back to the rest of the generator here. I've done this four times and I just can't see it. Yeah, I know that's worked. Um, uh, what that loops for is the tie down. Oh, well, so, there we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Right there? Mm -hmm. okay. So, anyway. Oh. Thank you so much. So, when you set up a tent,
I want to show you guys this. Here, here, get on the bed. Here, get on that side. This side and watch. Here, stay right there. 